these rats feeding the snakes. That's why I keep my circle tighter. Yo, 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 check one, two. RadioSuper.com Central Live Show, Wednesday night. You know what it is. Talk of the town. Heavy duty bump squad DJs. Goes down each and every Wednesday night for live from Central Live Show. Official John Blaze Mix Show. All new music, ladies and hip hop special guests, and more. And right about now, I told y'all we had a special guest in the building tonight. It goes by the name of J Rob the Chief. What's good? What's good? What up? What up? Chilling, chilling. What's good? Man, all good, all good, man. It's finally good to get you in here, man. No doubt. Finally being here. You know, I've been here about, what was it, January last year? I mean, this year. You got the title Rookie of the Year. Yeah, no doubt. And you kind of ran with it, right? I did. I did. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, how, why, do you, why do you feel like 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 it suits you like that? I mean, I, I know it suits you. But no what, how do you feel about it? I mean, now, like, I dropped what it was. I dropped A-Zone November, November 2012. Uh-huh. And then I dropped this song called Don't Sleep On Me. Bang. And obviously where I first met you and uh, and Justice and a lot of people um, was uh, was at that Kidding show when I opened up. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that's the same way I met Megan Don Marlin and uh, and a lot of people was I opened up for Kidding also in uh, August of last year. Mm-hmm. So basically those two opening slots, those two opening shows kind of connected me with some people. Yeah, you, you uh, kind of did. That's kind of what yeah, kicked yeah. off everything, too. And the cool thing is both of those slots, I didn't pay for it. Like I paid probably 30, 25 bucks to audition. And and like I said I won't I won't spend money to audition unless I know I'm gonna get the slot. So both right. both those slots I auditioned for and, and it paid off. You know it was a quick investment. Good good man. Um, you've been one of the uh, the the few artists at low. I mean I, I I watch a lot. I watch everybody. I see what they do. But I've been really proud to watch you. No just because I, I don't I, I it's more than just talent. Your talent is there. Obviously you're you're, you're a great MC. You great mate. You make great music. But I think, I think for me, and I've learned this as I got older. I don't know what it is. It's just what happens when you get old. But I think um, your your humility and you're humble. You know what I'm saying? Like for your age, you know what I'm saying? How old are you? Twenty. Twenty. That's right. Because you were nineteen last year. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't carry yourself like an average nineteen, twenty year old kid. You know what I'm saying? Like I know when I was 19, 20, I was wilding now. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> but just as a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Like rappers at 19, 20, a little different. You know what I'm saying? You have your own situation. You got, you know what I'm saying? You manage a couple stores. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got a family now. Like, like yeah. talk about that. Well, I mean, basically, I came up in a good household. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I lost my dad when I was ten, but I did have a good stepdad that kind of kept me, kept me straight. You know what I mean? I had my mom and my stepdad. We came up. We came up good, you know. We started in a bad area, moved to a better area. That area turned bad. They moved us to a better area. In Arizona? In Arizona. Here in Phoenix, right? Phoenix started from the south side, went to, to the west side, Levine. And then um, from there, they moved us to North Phoenix, and that's where everything kind of just stayed cool. I went to high school in a good spot, you know, and, uh, it, and that's really where it counts is where you go to high school, what, what, how your mind is in high school. Yeah. So basically, I came up straight in high school. I was focused in high school. I mean, I didn't get to go out and, and party all the time. So when I did turn 18, I kind of had my, my couple months when I got crazy. Yeah. But I woke up before it got too late, you know what I mean? I woke up and was like, yo, I need to get straight. Now I got mentors. I mean, I got my stepdad. Mm-hmm. I got easy. Um, I got Mega Don. You know, I got people I call, it, whether it's relationship, whether it's music, whether it's, like, it's work. If something's wrong, man, I got people I call and they keep me straight. Right. And they let me know because they've been through things before me. Um, I know the situation with, with, with your father. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, he passed away when you were how old? Ten. Ten years old. And uh, he was an artist himself. He was. And he was also the chief. The chief. Right? Yeah. Talk about that. Um, talk about how... Like how you know growing up and, and and how much that's inspired you to be who you are today and and if that is kind of one of the reasons that kind of help you stay in line and focus and, and and focus on music. Well, he dropped an album. It was called. He was with a group called Def Ecstasy. Um, I don't I, I don't know what it stood for, but uh, they they're all cool. I mean, this is probably mm-hmm. ninety four when he dropped the album. Uh, maybe ninety five. I'd, I'd say around ninety five. But I do. It's crazy that I do remember they used to record a spot. It's right on like thirty first in Glendale. And every mm-hmm. time I drive by it, I'm like, Yo, I'm gonna buy that spot. He went by. He went by Black Chief Spice. I used to go by mm-hmm. J Rob. I felt that was too basic, too typical. You know, my name is Jeremy Robinson. It was too typical. That's my initials, mm-hmm. and uh, the first three letters of my last name. So I was like, You know, what? let me throw the Chief on there. It was really, literally after. Uh, I think it was. 
I mean, me and Derez, we were, we were chilling. I was like, yo, let's, let's do the cheap. So I think this was after October. That's when we dropped Don't Sleep on Me. You know, we dropped the A zone. It was like, okay, I'm going to be the chief. That was kind of like the statement for J-Rob the chief. Like, welcome yeah. to my zone. I'm, I'm the chief now. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that led into Don't Sleep on Me. So basically, I felt like I should throw the chief on there because really, I wouldn't know rap if it wasn't for him. Like, growing up, I was on Snoop. I was on Dre. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't know that if it wasn't for him. I wouldn't have seen studio at two. Like, my mom doesn't think I remember this, the studio session, but I remember it. Obviously, I, like, I forced myself to remember things. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just looked back, like, yo, he, he went hard. He, I used to wonder why he stopped. He was like 30, he was 37 when he passed. And I was always bugging him. Oh, why don't, why don't you play music? Why don't you, why don't you rap? Why don't you go to the studio? <clears throat> he was like, no. He was just like, no, like, why? But he never told me why. But I realized he was 37. Yeah. He doesn't want to, you know, he, he, he was like, I'm, he's older. He doesn't want to keep it going. So basically, I mean, he did his thing out here. He performed at the state fair <laughs> back in the 90s, which I mean, a lot of people want to do now and still haven't done it yet. So um, basically, like, right now I'm doing what I'm doing. To achieve what he didn't get to achieve. Not only am I doing it for me, but I'm, I'm really doing it for him too. That's why I wear a chief on my hat, wear everything. So. <clears throat> That's crazy, man. A, a lot of people have th- different things that inspire them, but I mean, to have something like that, you know, to not only be successful for your father, but follow in his footsteps and do the same thing he did, and take him, you know, take take his legacy and and, and move along with yours, is is cool, man. Like I find that really refreshing, man. Yeah. That uh. You know, a young cat can, you know what I'm saying, really see the bigger picture and, and re- appreciate, you know. Insomnia. Insomnia. It's a new project, right? Correct. Uh, mixtape or is it an album? What, what do you call it? I call it a uh, EP. EP. <laughs> I say I call it an EP. We don't know if it's a mixtape or an album. We just call it an EP. <laughs> you know, we dropped it as a mixtape. We worked at it hard like a mixtape. You know, We put hustle on it like a mixtape. But the quality was definitely an album. It was all original. Um, like I said, Easy went hard on it. Uh, I think personally... Definitely top five producers out here. Um, you said Dirty, Dirt, Dirty Dan was on there? Dirty Dan was on there. Dirty Dan is dope. He's got his own style. Um, yeah. Uh, my boy Hurricane was on there. I just feel like th- th- there's a lot of dope producers out here too, but I feel like uh, the production on it was good. We had it on Dat Piff. It did 5K plus the first week. First eight days is what wow. it was. And uh, it did great. Congratulations. Thank you. It made it to the front. It was on Hot This Week, which is, it yeah. felt cool. Like, man. I've seen that. I've seen that. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I'm at work. <laughs> no, actually, I was in the car on the way to work. I saw I saw the flame around it. I was like, Hot This Week. Because I got it sponsored. I paid $50, you know, got it sponsored. Yeah. And then I saw it. Like, yeah, I saw it get hot this week. I was like, man, I, I swear. <laughs> I rolled the windows up and just yelled, like, man, like, cool. Like, you know what I mean? That's that piff. That's one of the, <laughs> that's one of the top mixtape sites. And, you know, my stuff made it to the front. My stuff made hot this week, which is which is dope. That's one step, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Now next is is uh, I took it down. You know, I felt like uh, I talked to Easy. I felt like we, he put a lot of time in. I put a lot of time in. Uh, Mega Don, everybody, uh, Trinity. I feel like we all put a lot of time in, and that uh, we should put it on iTunes beginning of next year. So, that's cool, what man. Do. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Everybody deserves, uh, you know, fruits for the labor. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what's up. Uh, so. Is that is that something you're gonna push for for a little longer? To, to, oh, now that you put it on iTunes, yeah. and then um, are you still recording? Or are you gonna do it in Somnia too? Like, I definitely won't do two. I hate I hate man. I, you I don't hate do it that a lot. I hate when people do uh, part two or da da da. I don't like it. 
I can't. I feel like you should do that and then move on to the next. You know what I mean? Um, you should uh, you should definitely appreciate appreciate it, but I feel like it's just like one more step. Oh, boom, here's the next one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I, I definitely want to do Insomnia too. Okay. What's your favorite record off of the new new, new project and why? Ah, oh, damn. See, that's one thing I did like about the project is like I couldn't put one I couldn't I couldn't put one wax song, but my favorite record uh, is probably FOE. FOE uh, Easy was on that. Mm-hmm. Easy produced that. That FOE was definitely tough. Um, there's a song called Black Friday on there. There's uh, work with Derez, man. I just I don't know, man. That that, that that was my main goal. Like we listened to it, Black Friday. That was probably hard. That Black Friday went hard because that was straight bars. That was with dough. Um, that's that's one of the that's what I was kind of happy of about this mixtape. You know, I dropped Now and Never in March. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I could easily point out, okay, that song was weak. This song was dope, but I couldn't. Yeah. On Insomnia, there's ten of them, and I couldn't point out. Even if I did point out a weakest song, it was dope. It was still dope. It was dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a good. That's a good problem to have. Yeah. Um, you got a, you got a record with Futuristic no Fuego. Doubt. Um, got a lot of attention, obviously, because not only is that a hot record, but you also have a dope feature on it. Yeah. Um, with a dope video. How'd that come about? How do you know Futuristic, and, and are you going to have more collaborations with him? Um, actually, if, if I had to say my number, one, my number one track, it'd probably be Fuego. But that's typical, so I could right. That's I what I was going to say. I was, okay. I couldn't say Fuego. That ain't fair, then. Yeah, yeah okay. it's definitely not fair. Um, Futuristic. I don't know, man. Uh, truthfully, how did that happen? I mean, easy, easy. What I did with Fuego, man. I re- I recorded Fuego on a beat that I did not, I didn't own. It was just a beat I had in my email, and I was like, I took it easy the next day. I was like, bro, do something with this. I, he had yeah. the vocals, and bro, I, sw- I sat there for three hours, and, and he made Fuego. Like, he made a Fuego beat. And if you hear yeah. the first one compared to the new one, bro, it was a totally different song. Easy did a sing on it, man. That song was easy. That, it was <laughs> it was easy to easy. Yeah, yeah. So um, easy definitely made that song what it was. And then uh, we, we had it for about a month, right? It was done for about a month, and we, we went in there and was like, hey, this Put futuristic on it, so you know we had him on a second verse. Um, so that did came you know out, him personally before that? No, I didn't know him personally. Um, man, right, my manager Megadon, he he uh, he hit um, he, he hit somebody happen. up. I don't even know. All I did was PayPal the money, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he told me he was like he was like uh, he saw the money. He's like, man, what is this? And then he matched it up with the email that I sent him, and he's like, man. And, you know, I, I kind of sent him lower than uh, what a lot of people sent him. Right. And it, but he was cool with it because the track was hot. Yeah. It was hot, and he was like, "Man, he, was like, <laughs> he straight up, he straight up emailed me. He's like, call me ASAP, or he t- text me ASAP.' So I sent him a text. He's like, "Man, this song is hot. That's dope." And uh, then he got on it. He's like, "I'll get it done for you within the next week." He sent it back. We had a show in like June. He came out to that. We got cool. Um, and then uh, from there, we, we we're cool now. He came out to perform at the release, and you know. Easy and his producer action and working and uh and we got something coming up again. That's so very dope, man. Hey, you want that play go? Hey, you want that play? All these rats be in the snake. That's why I keep my circle tighter. Hey, hey, it's saying it's a cold world. Clap, come on, let's go. I'm sitting back, tell my city I got it here. And everybody who doubted me wish they thought it now. I'm keep a pot to run it. My niggas need to wish it so they know I'm about to. Party like a rock star Pull up in that big body sedan It's a hot car We love bitches not bad Is she not ours? Go on here like a nigga up Cause I got bars Rock star, hot car Ain't bad, not ours Rock star, hot car Locked up, got bars Rock star, hot car Ain't bad, not ours Rock star, hot car Locked up, got bars